Konnichiwa legends, Konnichiwa superstars, Peps here, and I'm here to bring you my losers for a massive round of AFL football. Round 10 is about to hit you, and if round 9 was any indication, you are going to be a massive loser, because I picked 7 of them last week, but it all kicks off this Thursday night at TIO Stadium. Up there in Darwin, the Gold Coast Football Club versus Geelong Gold Coast, massively impressive. They literally had the bye this week against North Melbourne, and they're going to have another bye being Geelong. Without Cameron, without Hawkins, they are not going to be good enough. And the Gold Coast Suns, they love it moist. They love it slippery up there in the Northern Territory, and they are going to be way too slippery at 7.30 p.m. up there at TIO Stadium. So Geelong, you're going to lose for the third week in a row and the wheels on the bus will start falling off. I can't wait for Friday night. Sydney versus Carlton, 7.40 p.m. at the SCG. These two teams have been sensational all the way through 2024. Sydney at the top of the ladder. Carlton, what a win one point against the Ds this week. So these two are going to fight it out. But up there at Sydney, I can just see them getting the points in a really tight one. And even though I think Carlton will be the loser on the scoreboard, I think they'll be far from losers in the eyes of their supporter base. They are having a cracking season and a top four spot is theirs for the taking. But Sydney will just roll on, keep doing what they're doing and cement that top spot. So Carlton, once again, will be losing again in 2024. Rightio, rock on over to the MCG. Saturday, 1.45 p.m., Collingwood versus Adelaide. Collingwood, really impressive last week, especially in that first half against the West Coast Eagles. Adelaide, they snatched a draw from the jaws of victory against the Brisbane Lions. And I just think, because this is at the MCG, the real home of the Collingwood Football Club, they are going to take this one out. But Adelaide will not make it easy. They have to stop that run and gun of Collingwood, which they've got over the last number of weeks because Collingwood, they are starting to fire and the competition is starting to worry a little bit. So Adelaide, you are going to lose this one. It won't be a surprise, but I can see it probably by four or five goals at the most. Rightio, these two teams hate each other. We go all the way back to the 2016 preliminary final. GWS. Western Bulldogs, 4.35 p.m. at GWS's home ground. Cannot wait for this one. GWS have slumped over the last couple of weeks. I'll give them the bye uh, for last week with, obviously, the passing of Cam McCarthy may have affected the group. The Western Bulldogs, they played north and absolutely smashed them. They are starting to click a bit. But I think GWS are going to be way too strong at their home ground. Toby Green has been a little bit down over the last number of weeks. Is he injured? Is it form? I think, you know what? Form is temporary, but in Toby's case, class is permanent. They will win this one, even with the bond. He has been playing cracking footy, and I love what Sam Darcy has been doing up forward as well. But they will go down by about four goals in this one for GWS to say, hey, boys, we're back on town and the uh, big, big sound from the west of town is starting to pump again. Rightio. Over to Marvel Stadium, 7.30 p.m. Saturday night. St. Kilda versus Fremantle. Well, what can you say about St. Kilda? Are they St. Kilda or are they shit Kilda, as we call them on the podcast? Recently, they have been the latter. Frio, once again, we'll give them the pass last week with obviously the, the tragic uh, passing of Cam McCarthy. Definitely affected the team. Uh, and I think they'll bounce back really well against a really poor performing St. Kilda, who have been nothing short of disappointing so far in 2024. They'll win by this four or five goals, I reckon. And St. Kilda just putting more heat on Ross Lyon and a team that is a severe underachiever and could go down as the biggest bust so far in 2024. Fremantle, good luck to them. They'll get back on the winner's spot. So St. Kilda, you're going down again. All righty. Brisbane Lions versus Richmond, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. We talked about Adelaide having their uh, draw against Brisbane last week. Richmond, very, very poor. More injuries. Brisbane, they are going to win this one. This is going to be at least a 10-goal win. They'll get back on the winner's park. They love it up there at the Jabba the Hut. 
And you know what? They've lost a number of them up there this year. They will not let this one slip. Just add more misery to the first year coaching reign of Adam Uzo. All right, let's get into Sunday. 1.10 p.m. at Marvell Stadium. Essendon Bombers, North Melbourne Football Club. Not spending too much time on this. Essendon, this could be a hungy. If you play like you've been doing over the last number of weeks, led by Captain Courageous Zach Merritt, you are going to flog this one in. Stringer could have a party. Langford might have a complete day out. They've got no back line, and it's just going to be another nightmare for Clarkson's men. I'm saying this is going to be at least a Peter McKenna. It could be a, a Hanji raise the bat. So I'm going to put my neck out on the line here, and I'm going to put it in the middle. 75-point loss to North Melbourne, and their winless season is going to continue. This could be match of the round. Sunday. 3.20 p.m., Adelaide Oval, Port Adelaide versus Hawthorne. Hawthorne's last couple of weeks have been brilliant, loving the way that they're bringing the competitiveness back to the way that they should be playing. Sam Mitchell will be really excited by that. But Port Adelaide were magnificent against Geelong. That first half of football is the best Port Adelaide have played all year. They need to sustain this against a Hawthorne team that will be ready and picking to uh, potentially knock them off. It's not going to happen, though. Port should win this by about five or six goals if they are really switched on, and it could be even more. But these are the type of games I think that Hawthorne will be looking forward to, to say, hey, you know what? Port, at their home ground, I reckon we could pinch this one. So I still think it's going to be the Hawks losing another one. All right, last game of the weekend. It is going to be an absolute Barry Crocker. It is going to be a bloodbath over there at West Coast. West Coast Eagles versus my boys Melbourne, Sunday, 6.20 p.m. at Optus Stadium, Eastern Australian Eastern Standard Time. Melbourne, you can't do what you did last week and give a team a six-goal lead and expect to win the game. They lost by a point. Yes, plenty of pats on the back for the way that they never gave in, but when the start that you gave the Blues, it's going to be very, very difficult from there. West Coast Eagles, they have got injuries galore. McGovern could be out for this one. Petrocelli might be out for this one, and I reckon Melbourne, uh, they haven't smashed anyone in quite a long time, and I can see a smashing coming on. The D's by at least 10 goals, and I'm going on uh, a bit of a limb here, and I reckon Cole Chandler could be the guy to kick five or six. Could even be Cozzy Pickett. Wouldn't be surprised if Fritchie comes out and does what he normally does as well too. But the Ds, they're going to win that one, meaning that West Coast Eagles are going to be the massive losers to end round 10 of AFL football.